<laughs> okay. So firstly, uh, do you usually cook in your free time? Um, <clears throat> I usually cook. Um, usually the more uh, convenient stuff like uh, spaghettis, mm-hmm. uh, grilled cheese sandwiches, uh, sandwiches in general. Mm, I don't know, like peanut butter, <laughs> peanut butter jelly, uh, pastas, pizzas, oh, steak. That's a lot. Yeah. So, um, I, yeah, I enjoy cooking at home, and I love it, I love eating. So that's mm. that's why I, I I cook at home. <laughs> okay. Anything you would say as your specialty? Mm, I would say the specialty, mm, the most the, the most uh, food that I like to cook uh, when I cook or bake at home is uh, uh, chocolate chip muffins. Yeah, because uh, uh, I've done that since I was in high school, and uh, I've learned that from school. And ever since then, I just fell in love with chocolate chip muffins. I don't know why. It's either that or. Uh, uh, chocolate fudge muffins, oh. yeah, because uh, I you know I, I enjoy baking and uh, every time friends come over, I uh, I usually bake for them or you know when parents friends are over, I usually bake for them to uh, you know to impress them. <laughs> yeah, and they were impressed. Yeah, they were they were pretty impressed, and then the results was pretty good, so that's why. But. This time you came to Singapore to film three plus one. You have to cook. You, you can't bake. You have to cook like. Yeah, I have to cook more. Um, more. How do you say exotic dishes? I think, because they're more, they're more specific, and they're more. Uh, the ingredients is really. Um, and feng fu, like there's a lot, and there's a lot of sauces, and there's a lot of ways to do it, and then, because. Uh, this show, three three dishes and one soup. There's three dishes that I haven't done before, so <laughs> it took a it, it took kind of uh, hard work to uh, to remember all the all the you know all the positions and all the ingredients to go in and all the sauces and then the the ways the which each step is very specific. You have so much experience. Uh, do you have any tips you want to share? Mm, something you discovered yourself. Something I discovered, huh? Well, oh, I discovered how to cut onions, finally, because uh, when I cut onions, I usually cry because, you know, it makes your eyes watery. But uh, I found a way to cut onions. Is, um, it's pretty simple, actually, so take a note. So you take off the skin, right? You take off the skin, and then you chop off the, the sides, the roots. And once you chop that off, you chop the onions in half. And when you chop the onions in half, you gotta lay the flat, the flat part on the on the cutting board, and then you hold it with the other hand. And when when you cut it, there's a there's a small tip. You don't cut it all the way. You don't cut it all the way. You cut it so you leave this much on top. You leave this much on top of the on top of the onion. You don't cut it all the way through. So and then you cut it very thin. So you cut 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 cut. So at the end result, you will see the top part still connected and the bottom area is more like flapping around. Then you know um, how to cut you know, very thin slices, cubes of uh, onions. So after you do that, cut, 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 and then you turn it around and then you cut the other way. So then you will have small, nice, uh, just the right size cubes of onions. So when you do fried rice, when you do uh, stir fry. You can mix those tiny cubes of onions in your in your dish. Yeah, that's very very helpful. Yeah, it's very helpful. Yeah. yeah. Instead of just chopping it, chopping it, <laughs> and then turning it and chop, 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 and then it was like all a mess. Yeah. Okay. This way, it's much quicker and cleaner. Mm, well, actually, I remember a very stupid thing I did when I was in high school, and then <laughs> I think I was making macaroni and cheese. Yeah, because I didn't do, I haven't done macaroni and cheese before, and then I think I was really tired that day or something. So I was cooking the macaroni, and then on on a boiling pot, right? I was boiling the macaroni, cooking it, and then I had another pot doing the cheese, the milk, and all the powder that goes in. 
And then when it comes to serving, uh, I put all the cheese in a bowl, and then I put the the macaroni with the water <laughs> inside the bowl. So it became like macaroni soup. So yeah, I forgot to take out the water. So that was one of the stupid things I did before. What would you have as your last meal if tomorrow's the end of the world? Wow, my last meal. Uh, I don't know. I think I would have a nice teppanyaki meal. I think um, you know those Japanese teppanyakis. Yeah. yeah, I think I would have a, a nice, nice sterling filet mignon steak. You know, and nice you know rice with like pepper and like real bean sprout vegetables, lettuce. I don't know. A bunch of shrimp, fish, squid, all like teppanyaki and the teriyaki sauce. Yeah. Um, any food that you won't eat even if you're paid a million bucks? Any food? Something you never eat. Well, the most um, odd thing I've heard from China was they eat dogs. Because um. I don't think I would eat a dog. <laughs> well, I don't eat a lot of intestines either. Um. Intestines or anything to do with feet. Chicken feet, duck feet, pork feet, no. Do you like dogs a lot? Yeah, I love dogs. I love animals. So I just, yeah, when I hear that they, uh, they eat dogs, I'm just, I was, I was quite shocked, actually. I used to have a dog. I used to have a, I used to have a Spanish Cocker Spaniel. Oh. Yeah. And uh, he was like all black, mm. real curly hair. And then after that, I had a... Uh, a uh, golden retriever, yeah. Oh. yeah. So I love, I love dogs. One was Lulu. Lulu's the Lulu was the, the spaniel, and then one was uh, Tito. Yeah.